bottom and listen to interviews, guys. Polish society, women has more advantages than men. I almost have to pay a 300 slotting fine. I like the best in Poland is people being really respectful. And it's something you don't find in every country. I would prefer meeting someone in a um, spontaneous... Yeah, in a spontaneous... Yeah, you know, we were spelled from the train. What happened? So, the two trains going to Warsaw. The train was my ticket, my, my train time was this one but this was another train who came delayed so okay I almost have to pay a 300 slotic fine 75 euro but the lady was stunned by my elegance and you know oh my god it's freezing here wherever we are okay welcome to Ilava Gówna my god oh my god you can you can climb the chimney man that would be nice It's amazing, man. We found the Barb Lechny here. In Warsaw, first one we found. It's really amazing. Look at that, man. Spinach pierogi here. Yeah, the complex with, you know, spinach. Mmm. My God. Oh, the meal was amazing. We actually didn't need the um, bag with, you see? But don't worry, we will take it, okay? I mean, really good one, this uh, bar malachina. New bar malachina called, uh, what's the name of this? What's the name of it? Lindeleia or something like that? I do recommend you coming, guys, it's like awesome. You will love it. And you get to know nice people. Where are you from, lady? I'm from Italy. She is, uh, I guess, half Italian, half uh, Polish. I guess one mother is uh, Polish. Yeah. And father is Italian. Whoa, what a surprise. Typical. Where did you grow up? In Italy. I think more Italian than Polish. Italy is a great place though. I mean, I like it. It's the most, actually, it's the funniest people ever. But you know. Any um, remarks? You live in Warsaw now? Yeah, I've lived in Warsaw since 2020. You like it? Yeah. More than Italy? Tell me something. Is more common father Italian and mother Polish or the other way around? It's more common. Uh, Italian father and Polish father. So why, do, why could that be? How old are you? I'm 21. So 21 years ago, there was a flood of Italian men coming and uh, getting married with, uh, or well, getting, falling in love with Polish women. It's not the opposite. Polish women were coming to Italy. Guy, listen to that guy. Listen to this thing now, okay? We are all wrong. So, Paul is a flood <laughs> of Polish women, right? Going to Italy and falling in love, man. <laughs> Don't you know some example of the opposite? Like uh, Italians coming here for tourism and falling in love? Yeah, yeah. There must be also, it's, huh? it's more popular right now than 20 years ago. So, yeah, right now it's a lot of Italian people coming. So, uh, remember, guys. It was more typical before the Polish women, uh, women going uh, to Italy, for example, and finding love there. And now it's the opposite. Like the, yes, the Italians come to the source of beautiful women and intelligent, right, and hardworking. So remember that. Yeah, it's great. You know, what is your favorite thing about Italy? Food. People. People. Uh, language. Like, oh yeah, probably the most beautiful language. And now we have a clip of Pavarotti singing. You know? Okay. The three things you don't like about Italy. Huh? Uh, the job opportunities. Oh, what happened with that? A lot of unemployment? Yeah, it is a lot. Also the government. Don't like it? Not really. What happened? Is this lady, not this uh, Georgia? How Georgia. <laughs> hey, Georgia. <laughs> Shout out there. So, how about Georgia? I don't know much about... <laughs> I know she speaks... <laughs> said something. I know she speaks uh, Spanish. Yes. I know that. And that she, she looks very strong. But the problem is not Georgia, it's the government overall. But she is the head of the government. Yes, yes, but still. Okay, it's so just one good, that's a hard topic. one good thing about Georgia. One good. One good thing about Georgia? Yes. She's uh, really determined. I don't know how to say. Determined. Determined? Yeah. So, third thing about Italy, bad thing is the 
the English lessons because I'm not really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now one um, best thing about Poland. Best thing about Poland. <laughs> oh my, it has taken too long. Tick tock, right, tick it's a tock. lot of things. Oh, and it's, it's, just it's an overwhelming. Yeah, it's like, yeah, sometimes when you have too much, you have nothing. That's, that's the kind of situation here. Yeah. Okay. So I think the thing I like the best in Poland is people being really respectful and it's something you don't find in every country. Like this thing sometimes lack in, uh, in, in Italy, people being respectful to them. I follow up with that and I think if you think of children, like average group of Polish children and average group of Italian children, any difference on that? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. And here in Poland they are very respectful, they follow the rules, which is great, you know. Of course it has maybe some downside when they lose some of their individuality and their kind of um, uh, kind of free flow of mind, like they are not really free when they grow older and they are like, okay, emotional intelligence, maybe in that Italy wins, right? But it's like, yeah, respect, uh, respect. I agree on that. Yeah. People are super respectful here. And from the heart, they, they are not falsely respectful. Like, oh, sir, like, no, no, they feel it. They respect you if you respect them. Ain't true? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I confirm everything. I, I think that... Uh, I don't know, it's just different. In Italy, there is, it happens a lot to be in, uh, like, not feel really uh, that you cannot in enjoy your time in some places because maybe some kids are too loud uh, or, uh, you know, acting just not really well and this doesn't happen in Poland if you if you think about that as I am a woman like the the cat calling in Italy cat calling. yeah in Italy is, is it's it a big lot. thing yeah how do, you, how do you feel when okay what is that give me an example you're walking on the street and somebody says what say some, something mild horrible. For, for you too <laughs> horrible something, things something like, no. no I don't know like, horrible really yeah so that's the no, it doesn't happen in Poland. Like very rude. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you know, just they're very direct. They they be direct and screaming and not really kind things or just just for fun. You know? Ah, not because they like you. Yeah, also if you scream in the street to someone, you are not normal. Okay. It would never happen that someone will scream something to some to some girl and this girl will be interested to, yeah, exactly. to know this person. Tell them, tell them. It, it would Explain never happen. Explain to them, come on, you, you like mix uh, yeah, people or yeah. you like only like pure Polish? Do you, no, you think no, anything about the race or not? I find it really interesting mixed people because I'm also <laughs> one, I don't know. I'm just really curious about mixed people. That's like, very nice. Because uh, I used to meet a lot of people who are also like mm, three nationalities, five nationalities and it's really interesting hearing about the like really because in some way also Italy and Italian culture and Polish culture can be really different and it's crazy how they combine so imagine if you have five totally different countries mixed together some people can and you get the good things of them yeah, very yeah I nice. think so I could be less shy Barman let's in interviews guys okay do you feel though sometimes that Polish men Polish boys are maybe too cold are on the other extreme they they, yes, they, do, yes, yes. they don't really approach as much as you like just the other opposite is that possible then the opposite yeah that they are actually too cold sometimes yeah, yeah uh, i used to know italian guys i used to know polish guys so yeah the polish guys are the we have a theory here we have a theory about that is it possible that polish men are so used to the um, since their childhood, no? To being taken care by phenomenal women, phenomenal mothers and sisters. Yeah. And um, that they just get used to so many uh, hardworking, beautiful and good women that they become to insensitized, desensitized and they don't value them. Like, it's possible that these Polish men are so used to that that they don't actually value women because they are used to it. Like, you don't value Sunday, a sunny day in Greece because it's every day. Is it a bit of that or not? My knowledge, 
uh, in Polish society, women has more advantages than men, and that's why it can happen that men, Polish men, doesn't really uh, appreciate enough this Polish woman because they feel vulnerable in general and feel worse. That's what. And those advantages don't happen in uh, Italian society. No, it doesn't happen because in Italy, I think that we are in the the two genre are in the same level. Maybe the men are still a bit higher because the men still earn more than a woman, and and. Uh, so you are saying that um, women have more advantages in Poland than men? Yes. So what yes. do you say to people who claim that Poland is a is a is a male country? And no, it's, it's not. What, like, many people think like no, those countries are like you know, like no, male I, dominance and all that. The women, I hear that a lot. Like yesterday, I heard that. What do you tell them? I think, in my opinion, from my knowledge. Uh, it's more a woman country because, in fact, as I was saying, they have more advantage. Matriarchal. Yeah, Because <laughs> they have more ad women. Women have more advantages. For example, for example, uh, if you enter the corporation world in Poland, you will notice that most of the managers are women. And that's not something that happened often, for example, in Italy, still in my knowledge. So I was talking more about the, um, the job world, I expect, yeah, yeah. I would say, but if we talk about like the personal aspect, women doesn't, they are not really free in Poland, because, oh. yeah, because we, cause Meaning? Because we have the problem about the abortion, which is it isn't have been it haven't been still legalized and yeah. So in this side we could say that it's a mean world, but it's not even mean or woman issue. It's, it's like not an issue, but talk. It's more about the church because we know that everything is connected to the to the church. And yeah. So. Wow. How many people have you met in person uh, out of Tinder? One. And we have been in a relationship, in a two years relationship. Oh my god. Yeah. So, is it a coincidence? You thank Tinder a lot for it? Uh, I was really strict about hanging out with Tinder people. So Why? Why? You were, you were against it initially. Yeah, to be honest, when I just downloaded Tinder, I just did it for fun. I just wanted to like see how does it work and just chat with people. So my first idea was not hanging out with anyone. But then I really liked talking with one of with one of the Tinder guys. So I decided to to actually hang out, and uh, it came out as a two years. Italian? No, Polish. Polish. I was in Poland. Yeah. Wow, three years, three years of love, of the purest love of all, thanks to Tinder. So, you know, we have all kinds of stories. This is another one. And check, guys, how the lady moved the hands when she talks. That's the Italian part, all right? That's the, <laughs> that's the Italian part. So, do you recommend it? You don't? You think it's good for the youth? I prefer, right now... Uh, Ah, now are you I'm, single? I'm single right now, yeah. Well, that's now. When you see this, maybe it's another story, right? Okay, so. so right now I feel like I would not recommend it to no one who wants a serious relationship. Wow. Why? Just because that's me, I would prefer meeting someone in a um, spontaneous, yeah, in a spontaneous. Um, you know, it doesn't even sound. Uh, it doesn't even sound nice in the Christmas dinner when you say, "Oh, we met on Tinder." <laughs> so it would be nicer if I would meet someone more spent. In the opera, at the opera, or, like yeah, if you meet yeah. somebody first, best thing for Christmas dinner. I met him uh, at the opera. Maybe at the concert or maybe uh, at the volunteer place. Yeah, Something instead like of that. yeah, we we just chat and uh, I dated five guys. Thanks a lot. Uh. Thank you a lot for your um, for your comments. Hey, bye bye. I see you. <laughs> <laughs>